here at Georgia State, we have one of the coolest campus, uh, campuses, actually, excuse me. <laughs> I feel like um, here at State, like you can just experience so much. And honestly, I feel like it's because we're here downtown in Atlanta. Uh, Clarkson campus as well, you still get that Atlanta vibe. So speaking of Atlanta, one of my favorite shows, and I used to watch it throughout the fall, sometimes too much, because I had to finish up with some homework, Atlanta by Childish Gambino. He was one of the main producers. It was awesome to see how he pretty much put you in someone's shoes that had to live like a regular nine to five life. And it wasn't easy, it wasn't simple, but he showed you how you can pretty much make it through anything. Once again, it's just like hidden figures, he's trying to inspire somebody. So um, in this show, he is a regular guy, nine to five, and he has a child, but his girlfriend, they're like on and off. So he's constantly trying to prove himself there. And throughout the show, he has a cousin who goes by the rapper named Paperboy. He and his cousin, he's trying to put him on. He serves as his manager, which I thought was like really cool as well. And they go through going to nightclubs, not getting paid, trying to show up and uh, trying to show out pretty much and keep up with that rapper lifestyle. He had his ups and downs, but eventually he triumphed. So because of the show's success, they got a Golden Globe. So, you know, during most people's speeches, they say, I thank God, all that good stuff, which you should. But for Childish Gambino, AKA Donald Glover as well, which is his real government name, at the very end, he shouts out to Migos for Bad and Bougie. Now, I remember when I first heard the song, it was from my manager at work at Banana Republic, shout out to my man, David. He told me about the song and it was amazing. And this was like two or three months ago. And now just to see how, um, I think for somebody, they said it was a 200 and 34% increase, which I thought was just impossible, of the song's playlist on Spotify. That's crazy. It's just simply off of a shout out. You hear it on Instagram, Good Morning America, off of a shout out. And that just shows how AL, we can just, you can boost anybody up from your platform. Migo, so many hits. Uh, you can start from Versace, uh, Versace remix with Drake. That was crazy. Going to Bricks, uh, Bad and Bougie now. Handsome and Wealthy, just to see how in Atlanta they pretty much started from the bottom and just rose. And I know right now you're hearing the same paradigm of people started from the bottom and constantly just keep going up and up. And to tell you guys the truth, I feel like Migos is the best group to come out of Atlanta since Outkast. Mark my words. They're doing things that we haven't seen. Their sound is so innovative. It's so different. It's so genius. And just to see what they're doing, and they're doing it at a consistent level. They just had Key to the Streets, which was number one on the hip hop charts for a while. Um, and now they're going back to back with Bad and Boozy. So just to see how they're staying consistent. Keep an eye out for the Migos. They're going down as one of the greatest groups since Outkast, and they might surpass them. I know I might sound crazy, but keep it in mind. And Caleb said it first, so yeah. I feel like they are just amazing. And just to see how they have different names like Quavo, Offset, Takeoff, and coming in with a new sound, with the beats, instrumentals, 808s, it's something that we haven't heard before. I remember the very first time that I heard Versace, I think I was either in the 10th or 11th grade, but it was um, after football practice. And I was with like one of my best friends, Sammy, played it. It was amazing just to hear something different, something so fresh, and to see how they're just doing it consistently. Longevity shows who's a true artist. So we have to keep an eye out on Migos. Remember, they will be one of the best groups to come out since Outkast. So keep supporting them. This shows that if you support artists, you can increase their income, which they can shout you out. They shouted out Donald Glover on the Instagram. Go check it out. So support your artists, even if it's like a simple retweet, something small. Support your artists. Show them some love. Keep that in mind. And coming up next, we'll be talking about For Your Eyes Only by J. Cole and how it's such a masterpiece and the greatest rapper since Nas. Coming up next, talking with Caleb. Last month in 2016 of December, one of the greatest rappers since Nas, so I'll keep saying that, J. Cole dropped another masterpiece for your eyes only. In the story, he's pretty much giving you like a really good narrative. He's showing you the struggles of a young man, African-American, his best friend, and he's put in a very 
I don't want to say like a very average predicament, but he's put in a very realistic, struggling predicament. He he has a daughter, and of course he has the quote unquote baby mama, and he's trying to like provide for her. He's trying to show her how to live, but he knows that he's not perfect. So he's trying to get the job done. And even for us who don't have children, or even for us who aren't struggling financially, we all have struggles. And to see and rap, because you know, usually with rappers like 21 Savage, Future, I understand, cool people, cool rappers, you can listen to like certain people at certain times, but just to hear a realistic narrative, something that you can always relate to, and that's why I've always respected J. Cole, because to me, we have rap, and also we have hip hop. So with hip hop, that's something that is a movement, that's something that you can tell stories, you can inspire. Rap as well, you can be motivated for like a workout, football game, basketball game, sporting events. I understand that parties, but hip hop, that's something that you can just lay down, chill to, vibe to, and you can just correlate with that. So to hear J. Cole talking about songs such as For Your Eyes Only, when he's pretty much in his best friend's shoes who was murdered and writing a love song to his daughter and telling her that he did what he had to do but that doesn't make him a bad man. He just had to make a way for his daughter. And if you hear this song, it means I'm not here. And I, I just felt like that was just so deep because if anything, as, as parents, as teens, young adults, we have to set that precedent for our children and their children. And sometimes, you know, we'll fall short. We're not perfect. But just to hear that we can make something happen out of nothing and to hear J. Cole express himself and I felt like also in 2014, Forest Hills Drive, that was such a beautiful album as well because he showed you his struggles and to see him stay consistent and bring that in for your eyes only. I know some people probably felt like it was too deep, but my only thing is, you know, sometimes we have high frequencies and sometimes we have low frequencies. So we might not be feeling it some days, but I promise you if you're down on a rainy day and you're real lonely, play for your eyes only. Um, this one song, I might get it wrong, so I'm gonna probably try to fact check it for you guys. I think it was um, Wash Clothes or Change Clothes for You or something like that. Look it up, and he killed the song. Basically what he's saying is that as a young male, and I know for all my fellas out there, y'all can most definitely relate to this, um, we have our struggles. Like, you see a girl, and you're probably like, oh, she looks so beautiful, all this, that, and the third, but you have that beautiful girl waiting for you back at home. So he's saying that he's trying to stay focused. He's trying to stay with her, and he's trying to do like the small things, wash clothes, uh, do house duties, all that stuff. So if anything, I just like how he's not basically like the typical rapper saying, go out there, do this, do drugs, sleep with all these women, but instead, stay focused, stay on your grind, keep going. And that's why I love J. Cole, that's why I feel like he's the greatest rapper since Nas, because he did something similar to Nas, where they have so many parallels. What J. Cole did was, in 2014, Forest Hills Drive, I think it was since 21 years since Nas that a rapper dropped the album with no features and it went platinum. I'm just saying, him and Nas, keep that in mind. So just to see what he's doing, he's staying consistent, longevity. And J. Cole, even if he stops rapping right now, I feel like he'll be top five, top 10 greatest rappers of all time because he's doing something that's not average right now. He's rapping about real things in an era where we're glorifying pretty much killing people having sex, doing drugs, and he's talking about something that's completely different, Black Lives Matter. He's talking about um, supporting pretty much all people. So just to see a rapper that's staying focused on loving everybody, but also knowing what we have to do and get things done, we have to be progressive. It's hip hop, it's hip hop. The hip is knowing you know how to be hip and the hop is movement. So we have to do both of those things simultaneously. We have to stay focused. J. Cole, I feel like he keeps us focused, Kendrick Lamar, we are, we are seriously just like waiting on that album and it has to come ASAP. So we have to respect J. Cole, show love to him, support him, buy his album if you want to, or simply just play it on Apple Music or a title. Play his album, listen to it. Let it just activate your mind. Kick back and relax and play it. So coming up right after this break, we're gonna talk about how to stay sociable in school. And once again, you're watching Chillin' with Caleb and you're probably listening as well, so appreciate it guys. Thank you.